Hello everyone, this is Defense Politics Asia and this is the summary for the day of uh, 430 to 431 for the 29th to the 30th of April. Uh, let's start off with uh, missile strikes. So the the Russians have launched a massive uh, drone and missile strike uh, over the past 12 hours on Ukraine and uh, reportedly up to 22 uh, Tu-95 bombers uh, has been uh, uh, launched into the air and uh, up to 50 uh, Grand 2 suicide drones were also reported. Seven of the Black Sea fleet also launched uh, missiles. So it seems like a massive, massive missile strike. And um, the the one of the most significant uh, ones of the missile strike, the result was actually a massive explosion at uh, Pavlora. So at Pavlora, there's a numerous explosion and uh, the, the video is actually going viral now. And... Um, so they were first attacked by Grand 2 uh, and then after that by uh, missiles. So uh, the, the explosions uh, have some kind of firework thing. So it, it seems like uh, some air defense uh, ammunition or systems are actually uh, getting destroyed over at Pavlora, causing that kind of uh, unique explosion that is, re uh, that is actually known to be uh, associated with uh, surface to air missiles. Uh, however, the Ukrainians say that they shot down 15 out of 18 cruise missiles. So, yeah, they say that uh, there is only 9 TU-95 and uh, 2 TU-160. Then they, out of uh, these 12 aircraft, they launched only 18 cruise missiles. Yeah, so so a bit, uh, a bit hard to believe. The other missile strike was uh, reported at uh, Kramatorsk. This was actually the day before, I think. Uh, where the Russian Defense Ministry reported up to 200 tons of ammunition has been destroyed at the railway station at Kramatorsk. Then uh, moving on to, uh, from the south, um, we have uh, the Ukrainians killing one civilian. Uh, as far as the footage goes, he just looked like a civilian checking his fishing net and then he got killed. So, uh, and then the Ukrainians thought that he's a Russian uh Guy, as you can see, Deep State UA celebrated. They say that it's a Russian guy in a boat hit by a bomb. So they are very they and then the video have music and logos. Yeah, it's a kind of you can check it out on the DPA Telegram channel. And uh there is uh there is also geolocation of Russian forces uh, at this position. Uh they got I think they got shelled by, by Ukrainian artillery. And um moving into the Zaporizhia uh Line at the Zaporizhia line, the Ukrainians are reinforcing the Shabaki, uh, Orikiv, the the Bilohiya Sharifni line. So I think this spelling is wrong. Short for end at Huyaipo, and uh, there is also probing, uh, probing reported at Mafopil. The there is uh, at Omel Omelnik, uh, there is a uh, four four operating base being set up over here. So maybe the Ukrainian uh, counteroffensive is about to happen over at the Zaporizhia region. Uh, the Russian Defense Ministry reported shelling at Novopil on the 29th of April. And that's all from the Zaporizhia line. And uh, moving on to the Donetsk front. At the Donetsk front, uh, there is Ukrainians attacking uh, attacking uh, Novomayoske, according to the Russian Defense Ministry. Uh, shelling is reported at Prashistivka at Voleda on both days. And uh, there is also shelling reported at Volodymyrivka. Uh, there is a geolocation of Ukrainian forces on the eastern part of Pelivka, which means that the Ukrainians uh, uh, in recent days actually attacked and managed to capture this uh, position because the Russian lines was previously like this. So I think that the Ukrainians actually uh, managed to have some success uh, in the attack around Pelivka region. And... Uh, there is shelling reported at Uspenivka as well. Uh, there is fighting reported at Novo Mihailivka according to the Ukrainian Defense Ministry. Uh, the, at Marinka, the Russian forces managed to uh, have some breakthrough. At Marinka, they managed to uh, get out of the central Drusby Avenue, the, the central region of uh, Marinka. They finally have a breakthrough and uh, they are now out of the center of Marine Kerr. This information, uh, this actually re happens on the 29th of April, first reported by Raiba. Deep State UA on the 30th confirmed this information along with Surya maps. So this information is corroborated uh, with the Russians managed to uh, 
make some progress within Marinka itself. And uh, the over at the ADF car front, at the ADF car front, uh, fighting is reported at Nevelsky, according to Myro Shinikov, the pro Ukrainian source. Fighting is reported at Pervomaisky, uh, on both days, according to the Ukrainian uh, Ministry of Defense. The Ukrainian uh, launched a counter offensive or uh, the offensive operation against uh, Vodian, uh, where they attacked from the northeast and uh, and then they actually attacked from the northwest. Uh, so, um, yeah, but it didn't work out because the info, the fighting actually reported on the 29th. On the 30th, there's no fighting reported at Vodian, so looks like it did not work out. Uh, Myron Shinikov, the pro Ukrainian source, however, say that uh, the, the Russians are the one attacking at Chevenet. So, a bit weird. Uh, the Deep State UA reported the concentration of Russian forces at uh, Kruta Balka and uh, they are attacking uh, Adyevka on the 30th uh, from the east of Adyevka. And uh, there is also fighting reported in the northeast of Adyevka on the 30th and uh, fighting is reported north of Krasnohorivka, uh, north of Adyevka uh, on the 29th and a reinforcement is reported on the 30th at Novo Kalinove for the Ukrainians. And uh, that's all from the ADFK front. And uh, over at the Bakhmut front, at the Bakhmut front, the uh, the Ukrainian Defense Ministry reported fighting towards uh, Alexandro Shetini on the 30th. And uh, on the 29th, the, they say that the Russians are attacking towards Pretashne. Uh, and uh, further up in the north, they say that they are the Russians are attacking uh, Minkivka. Minkivka is here uh, on the thirtieth. So, and then there, and then for going nearer towards Bakhmut city itself, uh, we have the Ukrainians launching a counter offensive uh, from Chasivia and uh, from Ivaniske and from Kalinina. This is on the same day that the Ukrainians actually attack uh, uh, do their counter-offensive on Vodian in the ADFK front so maybe it's a it is their counter-offensive uh, being done at the same time uh, it did not work out as well it, uh, no, no fighting uh, no Ukrainian offensive is being reported on the 30th as well now fighting is reported at Bodanivka on the 30th according to the Ukrainian Defense Ministry that the Russians are the, are the one attacking instead uh, on the 30th, the Russian Defense Ministry also reported uh, that they shot Bodanivka. Uh, at Ivaniske, the next day, the Russian, the, the Ukrainian Defense Ministry reported the Russians are attacking. So, so the Russians say the Ukrainians are attacked on the 29th. On the 30th, the Ukrainians say the Russians are attacking. So, yeah, the, the Ukrainian offensive have uh, dissipated. At Kromove, the, the fighting is still ongoing. The Russians are still attacking Kromove, on, uh, reported on the 30th. Uh, and then the Russians simply reported shelling at Kromove. Uh, and then uh, within Bakhmut itself, uh, the Russian forces managed to have some kind of breakthrough uh, in this area as they crossed the road and are uh, fighting is reported opposite of the industrial college according to Surya maps. And uh, fighting is reported along the Chakoskogo street as the fighting is now uh, officially entering into the Ukrainian uh, Citadel region, the, the or this high-rise region, also known as the Cherima district, according to the Surya maps. The uh, in the north, uh, there's fighting reported at the uh, Levanevskogo Street, according to Surya maps. Fighting is also reported at Oberoni Street, as well as at the Visvolitis Leaf, Tombasu uh, Street. I don't know how to pronounce that word. So basically, this part is new because the Russian forces actually managed to just capture this area here. Previous line was actually around here. So the Russian managed to uh, capture this area and continue to do their closing up of this uh, front line along the along the uh, fortified region, the citadel region. And that's all from the Bakhmut front. And, and it's, as you can tell, I'm running out of energy because I'm doing too many videos. Uh, a bit tiring now. Uh, at the Severs front, uh, the, there's fighting reported at Sperny. According to the Russian Defense Ministry, shelling is reported at Verkhan Okayamske. Uh, according to the Russian Defense Ministry, there is a uh, fighting re reported at Bilohorivka on the 29th and the 30th. 
the 30th is reported by the Russian Defense Ministry. Uh, they said that uh, the Yoke group of forces actually uh, discovered uh, Ukrainian forces uh, doing rotation and they attacked. Uh, shelling is reported at Serebryanka and Krakorivka on the 29th. According to the Russian Defense Ministry, shelling is reported at Serebryansky Forest Tree on the 29th and the 30th and at Tibrova on the 30th. Uh, Toske also received shelling on the 29th and the Terni along with Terni. And then shelling is reported at Makievka. Uh, so that's all from the Crimea front. And moving on to, into the Svetovay front, uh, there is a Mi-8 shot a uh, Ukrainian Mi-8 transport helicopter shot down over Rykhorodka. Uh, the Ukrainians attacked at Mesozarivka on the 29th. Shelling is reported at Stemakivka on the 29th. On, and uh, o- along with uh, Novoselivsky on the 30th. The Ukrainians uh, did their attack on Novoselivsky on the 29th. And uh, a better story on both days, 29th and 30th, according to the Russian Defense Ministry. And uh, moving into the Kupians front, we have uh, Ukrainians attack at Kotlerivka on the 29th. The Russians shot Kaislevka on the 29th and the 30th. Uh, and then um, Timkovka is attacked uh, by the Ukrainians on the 29th. They also attacked on Vishena on the 30th. Uh, Sinkivka uh, reported shelling by the Russian Defense Ministry. And then the Ukrainians are attacking on the 29th on Sin- Sinkivka as well. It's a continuation of the ongoing uh, operation, uh, assault operation at Sinkivka that is, has been reported over the past two weeks. And um, Mesitivka is also shelled according to the Russian Defense Ministry. And uh, and then uh, Kayamka is being shelled on the 29th and the 30th. And uh, this is likely because there might be a concentration of Ukrainian forces here and they are trying to cross over to Os- uh, Oskil- from the Os- across the Oskil River into the rear of the U- Russian lines. And uh, I believe this is everything. Yeah, so this is the summary for the day of uh, 430 to 431 for the 29th to 30th of April. And uh, thank you for your support and I'll see you in the next update.